hi there, welcome. <laughs> I guess that you want to see how I fake my perfect skin. Well, disclaimer, I have zero like percent perfect skin. My skin is very acne prone, blemish prone, oily, red. It's just, it's messy. So to get it to look like this, there are a few steps which I do. I'm going to show you and walk you through everything that I do. Just letting you know that I did my skincare before and skincare is really important, even though my skin isn't working, my skincare is really trying its best. Another quick disclaimer is if we can fake it from a color and like glowiness point of view, we cannot fake it from a texture point of view. Like texture is still gonna be there and that's fine, it's totally okay, you just wanna feel put together. Um, so that's what this makeup is. I never had perfect skin. There were times though in my life when my skin would clear up, still wouldn't be perfect looking. So obviously I've tried my best to find ways in which I fake it. So for this particular part, I have a concealer that I would use, which is the Hourglass one. Basically I use the concealer instead of foundation. So I apply it underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and then I have a certain brush that I like to work with, which is this one from the collaboration of Morphe and Ariel. After I have applied my concealer on my under eye, on my chin, on my forehead, around my nose area, I just start doing this. And now that the base is kind of done for my face, I will just start working on the little spot. When I'm applying the concealer on the spots, I apply a good amount of concealer, like I'm not shying away with just a dot or something, but then I don't blend it as intensely. I just do very light motions of tapping until it looks a bit blended. For example, this pimple right here is quite recent. I've actually popped it yesterday. It's awful, but what I do, I usually make sure I have a big amount of concealer on my brush, touch it like that, and then just barely touching it. Okay, so right now I'm done with concealer. It's very glowy, which we like. And the next step is applying bronzer. Now, usually when applying bronzer, you can lift your makeup, but what I do is I really put it on the brush a big amount and then I tap it on the back of my hand to get rid of the excess but also a lot of the product is still on the brush and then very lightly just tap in there I just want to make sure I have uniform colors so I put it a bit on my eye as well repeating the same process on the other side putting some of the bronzer on my nose a little bit on the hairline and then I do the same thing with blush Using cream products, I think that for me is really helpful and right now I'm gonna use this Patrick Ta blush palette and I'm gonna use top pinky one and the same thing, I'm just saturating my brush with the product. A little bit of the excess on my hand, very lightly touching my face with the brush. The reason you need to be very gentle when doing this is because you don't want to lift your makeup. The powders that I've been obsessed with lately are the hourglass one and the huda beauty one so i just take a little bit of amount but i saturate the brush like i really put a lot of powder into the brush just of the excess first making sure there are no creases underneath the eyes and then i do the lids directly when i'm at the eye because i hate creased lids although they do crease my eyelids get super oily for some reason and then i like to go into the forehead whenever i'm doing my forehead i start down the middle and i move out from the center when it comes to setting my face i like to first set the center and then move out what i really like about this blush is even though i've applied powder on top of it it's still kind of glowing from within which is adding to that naturalness and beautifulness even though doing my lashes and my brows is not part of the perfect skin i'm still gonna do it quickly and then we are finishing the makeup doing a little bit of mascara setting the brows absolutely quickly just a little bit of brow setter filling them in lightly with some of the nyx brow tint pen which is my favorite i'm just gonna do some lip liner very off topic but i actually have to go to work this is not like how to get the perfect lip lip oil just to make everything look beautiful now a really important step in faking perfect skin is not having it looking powdered you have to do something to bring back a little bit of hydration into it and what i do is i do the professional my personal favorite would be the charlotte tilbury one but it completely empty and I haven't gotten a chance to order it because I keep on forgetting. Also, 
the veil from Hourglass. The battle is between these two. I don't know why lately I've been mingling between these two. But today I'm gonna use this one purely because of the smell, because I love how this smells. Now, I don't love it when products have fragrance in it, but I'm not mad at this fragrance at all because it smells like those little bubble tubes that you would open up and like blow balloons. This is my everyday setter. The Hourglass Soft Focus one is the one for events and so I'm applying a generous amount and uh, then I just edit dry it a bit. So basically this is how I fake perfect skin even though my skin is far from perfect. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope that if you try this makeup you will love it and I, I really hope it's gonna do for you what it does for me because it kind of altered my brain chemistry somehow so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye